This is your girl, the original calculator girl, the OCG. I'm reporting live from the Cannery Casino in Las Vegas, Nevada. And oh, do I got a treat for y'all tonight. I guess who I had sitting over here with me? I had Dwayne Cooper. How you doing? I'm doing wonderful. So, you had an awesome, you see how I enjoyed that? Awesome. awesome performance last night. Yes. Yes. When I say you brought energy into the room, from the time you stepped out and got that mic, it was on. It's like you was on fire and it was just like the fire. It's almost like you lit the fire for the rest of the people yeah. who came in behind you wow. last wow. night. Wow. wow. Last night was truly um, an experience. Um, you know, we, I come from Jacksonville, Florida, mm -hmm. um, and um, I'm the lead singer of a group called Dwayne Cole and True Ministry. We've been together about mm -hmm. nine years now, and you know, ministry is just in me. From five years old, I, I knew that there was something just that the Lord had for me. I didn't really understand what it was. So I would um, just write poems, and poems again turn into songs, and songs into you know, dreams and dreams into reality. So um, I connected with um, a company called LA Expose. Um, and since I've been with uh, the leadership of Laverne, um, I have, um, I mean, we've had so many different opportunities in this tour. There were about, maybe about, I guess, 10 artists that performed mm -hmm. last night. And, you know, it was just awesome. I mean, it was, it was, we're in Las Vegas, Nevada. I mean, I've never been to Las Vegas. Never even thought I had the opportunity to come to Las Vegas, but that I'm here, I'm just so humbled that God opened the door, um, and it was just awesome. So how did you hook up with it? Was it through word of mouth? Did you find it on the internet? So how did you... Well, what happened was, um, I, um, I wrote a Christmas song about two years ago um, called This is the Season for Love, mm -hmm. and um, someone um, pitched it to her, and when she heard it, oh my goodness, we got on the phone, we talked, and then she just ran with the vision. From then, I mean, we had like about a hundred and something views at the time because I had just put it on um, YouTube. Okay. But within two days, five thousand views. I mean, it just it just rolled. So from then, um, she's just been an inspiration to my ministry. Um, and this actually, this is our first time all the artists actually coming together with me. Okay. We, we talked over the last two years by Facebook, you know, email, but we've never met until um, Tuesday. Oh, wow, so y'all been communicating back and forth for two years, two years via internet, but never came in together until last, last night. La well, last night to do ministry, but we met for the first time Tuesday, um, Tuesday evening. Wow, that's amazing. God is good. All and he brought y'all from all over the yes, nation. Chicago, Jacksonville, Florida, Texas, um, New York. I mean, we just came in, California. You know, people flew, drove, um, some even walked the deserts. I mean, we just had to get here, you know. Yeah, and I know what you mean when you say get here. And a lot of y'all went through a lot to get here. Did you have any kind of type of struggles to get here? Because I found out that many of y'all put y'all egos aside. And y'all came out here for the love of God and for your music and for y'all fans. And y'all came out here and laid it down. For nothing, y'all didn't get paid to do this. Y'all didn't get no travel pay to come out here. And did you have any type of struggles to get here? I didn't have any struggles, but I can say this: one of the things that I do know about the Word, the, the Word of God says, I open up a window of blessing, but He mm -hmm. never, ever just solidified it to be monetary. Mm -hmm. So when we open up our, you know, our mind to understand that God can bless you and give you favor in so many areas then doors like these are open. So, in, you know, in my, in, only I guess in my, and I can say about myself, um, you know, the first, I guess, I got, when I got in for the last three weeks before we got ready to get here, and I really started, I had already got my plane ticket, but my hotel room was reserved and um, car room was reserved. But then within about 48 hours, God began to just do miraculous things. So, um, clothing, um, you know, food, all that kind of stuff, he just took care of it. You know, whatever the Lord ordains, He is able to maintain. So I strictly sing up under the anointing because I know that the anointing is for us. The yoke has nothing to do. I want people to hear this: nothing to do with your talent, mm -hmm. your vocals, 
but when you submit yourself to God, He will exalt you to places you can never even dream of going. Yeah, and I truly believe that, and it, and it definitely showed. It Amen. showed through Amen. your performance and just everybody seeing everybody in action here. And then it's like everybody flocked to you. I mean, I see you at your table. You over there got your CDs. <laughs> I mean, you was all over the place. Amen. Every time I looked at it, they got the way up there. I looked over here, they got the point over there. Got the market. Yeah, and, but I mean, you did it. I mean, God blessed you. You came out here on faith not knowing what was going to happen. And you, every time I turn around, you was, man, you was out there working. I mean, you said your CDs, you yes. doing it, you networking, yes. you talking to people. But I'm holding some stuff in my hand right now. <laughs> and I can't wait to talk about these CDs. Amen. So which one are we going to talk about first? Well, I'm about to start with In God's Time. Okay. And, you know, there's a message too when God gave me that song. Um, if you look at actually this cover, it may look like it's a cover that was maybe um, drawn or painted by someone. This was actually a picture that I took from a cloud in the sky with my cell phone back in 2007. And the image that came out, all I can say is you look at the picture, it speaks for itself. But the face or image from a, a, a cloud, you can you can take a picture of a person right in front of you and mm -hmm. it, it cannot even be clear. But to get this image from way up, you know, and when I got that picture, I was, you know, I was broken. Um, you know, uh, my, my, my ex now, and I, I don't really, I don't discourage um, divorce because um, I know that some people are not yoked, mm -hmm. but I can say that going through a period of infidelity and finding out things that happened in marriage, it, it broke me. But yeah. when I was broken and felt like I was at my lowest, the Holy Spirit began to show me that no matter what hole people dig for you, He's able to raise you up. So in, in, in all that happening, you know, He gave me in God's time, then because I took that picture, it became the cover. And I was um, under the leadership of Detonology Records at that time, and still they're a very positive point in my life. All my, um, besides LeBron doing most of my Facebook um, mm -hmm. promotion, they do a lot of my promotions. But not only do I sing, I'm also a minister in food. So I have a food ministry. My company is called Chummo Barbecue. We're in Jacksonville, Florida. And when I tell you you want a good baby back rib, let big man do it for you. Well, let me tell you, I like to eat, so. <laughs> And if I gotta come down there and come check it out, you know that's what I'm gonna have to do. Amen. Cause I, is there anything that's special about this cover? Well, that's what because I'm saying. Because I see guys out here watching. That's, 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 that's what I'm saying. The image that came out was a picture. Yeah. That's like the first thing I saw. That's why I didn't say anything. You have to be able to see that. You I know. see. I see the face. I don't know if y'all can see the face and you can see the eye watching on here, but I saw it as soon as I turned it around. I was trying to look from the back, but it's not on the back side. But I do see guys out watching. And I hope y'all can see that. If not, then I guess you're going to have to go buy his CD. <laughs> and you're going to have to see it for yourself. Amen. To see what we're talking about. And you know, if that is not anointing and God just all over. His hands all over. Amen. And what he say, his eyes on the sky, he everywhere, Amen. he see everything. Everything. He's watching. He let him know. And he's alive. He was watching. Amen. And he had his back. God is good. Okay, then the next one I have is the wet. Oh, I almost dropped it again. Lord Jesus, help me. I need some glue. Glue, glue on the set. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is the wedding day. What's this one about? But this wedding day, actually, um, I prayed and asked God if he can just give me something. I could actually send brides down the aisle. Okay. And then he birthed, you know, this wedding day. Okay. So, because I do, you know, cook and I do have that catering ministry, mm -hmm. I'm able to sing a bride down the aisle, and then my band, you know, play for the reception. We provide the catering. Um, I have a um, decor team that does the decoration, so we're full service. Okay. And, you know, so this wedding day is real. I'm mean, not sung it. Oh my goodness, so many weddings. Um, but I tell any bride, you know, you get married once, preferably as once, but on that day. You know, make it your day. When you when, when it's time for you going to go out, take your time and make it your moment. And so to actually sing a bride down the aisle and represent the the, 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 the husband to be. Yeah. Um, because I'm really speaking for him. I'm speaking through the Holy Spirit. And it's just, you know, God has just given it's been a blessing. So I have so many different gifts that God has blessed me today to be a blessing to others. Okay, so I, I mean, so I guess I could go ahead and say when I get married, you you're gonna be that singing, right? <laughs> Fly down here. 
And you know, I, you know, I don't really see in my future me mm-hmm. actually walking down the aisle, but I know who I can call for my entertainment now. Right. Yeah. You, you don't see it, but the man that's for you does see it. So, you know, Ooh, he yeah, did no. find it. He <laughs> done found the wife, so he's lucky. You just have to be in place. Or something. Ooh, let me find it. Okay. <laughs> I need to move, okay? <laughs> I gotta get going on. You can be the first person I hey, call. Man, call. <laughs> call. So you can break the news to everybody else. <laughs> I'll get to see you in a way. Hey, All right, then. Then we had the Sun's Writer. Dwayne Cole, the songwriter. And like I said, I've been writing poems since I was very young. And, you know, songwriting is just a piece of me. And one of the things I really wish and, and pray for is that, you know, God connects me with the right person. Um, and let me kind of back up because some things happened last night in the spiritual realm, mm-hmm. you know. Um, that kind of manifested in, in, in the, you know, right now around. And so some things are happening behind the scene. I don't really want to expose it because you don't, everybody ain't your, you know, your yeah. friend. Everybody's not for you. So yep. you have to be very careful with what you put in the atmosphere. But mm-hmm. I can say that from looking at in God's time, everything is happening in this time. So yeah. anybody that has a dream, never give up on your dream. If you made a mistake, God is able to forgive you, repent, get it right. Trust in the ability God has given you, and I promise you, the open doors you never dreamed of. And you know what? I, I was staying in agreement with that, and I mean, I have seen it, and I heard the testimonies here, and it just like, if you didn't believe, you ought to believe by now. <laughs> if your faith was weak, it ought to be a little bit stronger Amen. now. Because Amen. after this whole... Well, last couple of days, I mean, everybody had some kind of anointing, some kind of blessing, some kind of gift. And even if you didn't know you had that, I, I, some people even developed some hidden gifts they didn't even know they right, had. Right. So, I mean, it just, I think everybody coming together and with networking, doing right. this whole event, and action, everybody building each other up and empowering, supporting, and praying, everybody praying for each other. It just, the anointing was all over. Amen. I mean, if you left here and you didn't get no kind of anointing on you, then you must have been at the wrong <laughs> casino because you was at not at the Cannery Casino with us, okay? Because everybody was touched. Amen. And I'm sure some of that left out of the door and went through the, the casino floor out there because I'm sure I heard some, some machines going because when I say it was moving, the spirit was moving Amen. in here last Amen. night. It and was. man, it was just Amen. an honor to see you out there on the stage and just see... You bring energy and touch people. Amen. Everybody, I'm watching the audience because I was in the back and I won't go to the side. And I like watching people. It was like they were so into it. They were so moved. It's like they almost couldn't take their eyes off of you. Jesus. And it was just like if you just really, they were into it. And I was, you just see it. And then you look down and the feet were going, <laughs> you know. <laughs> they, they, they got the head moving. Or they was, got the tapping on the table. You know, as they probably was too shy to get up. And they, so they, but you know what? They was moving and they, they was definitely into it. And then just like at first, it's like, man, they so intense. But when you got out there and really got into it, finally, the first 30 seconds, I'm telling them, the feet got the tap in. They said, okay, they going to start getting That's into right. it. And I was right. like, praise God, because everybody did an awesome job. Amen. But when, when you went out there, I thought the people were just so intense. It's mm-hmm. like, you got like you got a movie. <laughs> you probably so old spirit. And, you Amen. know, it don't get no better than that. Thank you. I, I was glad just to see everybody moving and enjoying themselves. And I will honestly say, I think this is like one of the first concert events I went to. I ain't had nothing negative for nobody performing on the stage. Wow. For none of y'all to have no sound check. None. None. No kind of practice. None. Y'all just straight got up there and did y'all thing. Amen. Amen. And it was, I mean, it's like flawless. No mistakes, nothing. Y'all just got to, everybody hit their nose. Pitches and everything. Amen. It don't get no better than that. It doesn't. And that was God I've written oh. all over. Oh. And everybody knows the sound check didn't go quite go because it couldn't mm-hmm. get it off. And, mm-hmm. and next ain't no showtime. Right. Well, let's just go do it. Everybody was confident enough and God had y'all back and you laid it down. Amen. So, how can people get your music and contact you, look you up and follow you? Well, I'm glad you asked. Like, follow me on Twitter, um, just by my name, Dwayne Coley. Mm-hmm. Um, Reverb Nation, uh, Facebook, um, Instagram. Uh, you can get music um, through um, Reverb Nation, um, and you can actually my my email address 
contact information is on most all my sites really okay. and I definitely do respond to all messages so I encourage you if you have a situation you're going through if I can pray for you I'll give you some encouraging words I definitely would do that okay what about the food ministry do you have my food no ministry I mean no actually my both are tied together so okay. you, when you go to music you're gonna see the food you'll see the pictures and you know and uh, I get teased all the time by some of the ladies in the group about these food pictures and um, bringing ribs, like, you know, Las Vegas, flying out cakes and all kind of stuff. So, <laughs> you know, God is good. That's but yeah, you know well, I tell you what, that's one thing people like to eat. So that's yes, that's a, no way you I mean, that's, a, that's like, you know, it's like double mint gum, you know, it's a partnership. I mean, you yeah. got food and music, you know, people are just going, you can bring it together and make sure it feeds the soul and the spirit. So, okay. God, God knew what he was doing, he gave it to him, something happened. Yep. Is there anything else you want to cover before we get ready to sign out? Anything you want? them to know you got any upcoming projects or you going somewhere else on the tour what do you have coming up well actually um i fly back i leave uh, las vegas tomorrow we, we minister at um, new fountain chapel um, ame church in jacksonville florida on sunday at four o'clock and then on the 7th of june i'll be do, we'll be opening up for a tribute to kirk franklin in gainesville at, okay. at the upper room church um and then in september i think we're going out to dallas texas for award show and um, sometime this year, I think we're going also going out to, um, I know it's Africa, but I'm not really sure exactly, I can't remember exactly the, um, where we're going, but it's just so much that's going on, but again, God is opening doors, and he's making provision for his people in spirit and truth to get to us, so I don't want to thank you totally for your spirit, the opportunity to sit here and have this, this, this moment of fame, um, and I just look forward to the next time God puts us together. Well, I thank God for the opportunity for you to sit here so I can interview you. Amen. So, look, it was my honor, and I thank God, you know, to be in, in your presence and the rest of the artists' presence because, I mean, y'all some of the best group of artists. And if I had my way, mm -hmm. everybody be signed to, like, Sony, Universal, mm -hmm. something. Amen. Everybody everybody would have left here with something. Amen. I mean, I'm talking about y'all would have had it right there. I wouldn't even had y'all sign it on the ready to go. Here you go. Everybody would left me with some money in their hey head too. Because like, <laughs> I'm touching the so, so the next time y'all see me, I'm gonna sign all y'all. Yeah, everybody can sign the money. So Lord, okay, so y'all hit it. So Lord, while well, I'm here, this stand in agreement when well, next time I'm gonna be jackpot. Okay, there it is. Amen. It's for God, because God's money. He owns everything. I just ask for opportunity to manage it so I can use it to help spread his word through ministry and help people in need. And, hey, artists, that's what we're here for, to build and power. There it is. Amen. See? We named it. We just claimed it, Amen. right? We in agreement. Okay. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. There it is. You heard it right here. The original calculated girl in Las Vegas with the way. In the house. Amen. If you was in touch, I don't know what to say. But you got to go get the CD. You got to see this picture. I'm telling you. It probably bring some of y'all to tears. Because this is just reality right here. God letting you know. He watching. He watching. He watching. That is a true picture, original. I would never, ever come in here and allow the Holy Spirit that is factual, true. And, you know, the Lord's watching. You know, he's here. So people... You may think that what we're going through, he see everything, he allows it to happen, but there's an expected end, and mm -hmm. it's a better end. So we just got to believe that, look, must have seen grand faith, and that's all we need. Just believe in your situation and turn around. Thank you, and goodbye. Just believe. The OCG signing out. You know how I do, and what I say. Peace.